Sagittarius, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for July 2018 and we are going to just jump right into the sucker because I want to get you the information and I want you to get out and enjoy July. There's a lot to rethink, there's a lot to um, renegotiate in terms of some moves that you definitely want to make forward, plus you have got career pizza all month long so really a good time so let's get in here and talk about this now first and foremost right here at the beginning of the month we have got chiron going retrograde and this is only one of a few retrogrades we've got going on remember mars is also retrograde we've got mercury coming into a retrograde jupiter is actually coming direct and then we've got these eclipses so the magic is really kicking off right at the beginning of the month okay so right here on the fifth we've got chiron going retrograde in the sign of Aries. Now for you, this lands in the fifth house. Now when Chiron is transiting Aries, the thing that we're doing, Sag, is we're fighting for our identity. Who am I? What's my purpose? I belong here, right? Now with Chiron going retrograde here in this fifth house, a couple things could be happening. One, Sag, you're usually pretty good at being very vocal for yourself and you could be rethinking yourself. You could be thinking, hmm, how do I want to express myself? Does that align with my purpose or what's the purpose of me doing this, right? Why would I say that? Why would I do that? Some of these things about how you've been representing yourself, I think are actually gonna get a very big shift because now you're having to look at where your limiting beliefs have been, right? What have you believed around your self-expression, around children, around joy, the things you could do in the world that actually bring you joy, about investing? Have you been afraid to invest? And where is this coming? coming from? Where have you put yourself in the box? This is information you're going to look at because it's really holding you back. So you've got a beautiful energy to work with there as this retrograde is happening, okay? Now on the 9th, I love it because our smallest benefic planet, which is Venus, and she's also the planet of diplomacy. She loves some money, okay? Um, harmony, beauty, all of those things. She is moving into Virgo, which is actually not a comfortable position for her because Virgo's too nitpicky for Venus's taste. But for you, it's moving to the top of your chart in the 10th house, and this is beautiful. Beautiful. This is an absolute gorgeous opportunity to bring something because Venus acts like a magnet, Sag. So you could be bringing something into your career life or you could be making progress on something you're trying to do in your career life. And remember here, even if you are one of my retired Saggies, this could be the soul level calling, a goal of what you're wanting to do or offer to the world. This does not have to be corporate, okay? What do you have that you're out there trying to give? Maybe you volunteer, maybe you stay at home, maybe whatever it is. This is giving you a really awesome boost of magnetism to help you here. Now, one of the things I keep thinking of as well is because when Venus is here and she does act like some such a magnet, Venus likes to attract some attention. So you could have some attention coming your way. Have you caught the eye of somebody who is maybe in a position of power or a position that can take you up the ladder with them or... Um, you know, show you, get you introduced to people who can help you move up that ladder, something like that, that could definitely be something beautiful that's coming for you. Now, another thing that I think is really happening is that you could be showing off a fair amount of your knowledge on something. So this is all the setup to really kind of help you move forward. Now on the 10th, we've got Jupiter, our biggest benefic planet coming direct and when Jupiter is retrograde he's kind of giving blessings because he's our biggest still generous energy but it's trickling in when he comes direct it's like let it rain you know what I mean <laughs> these things can start to flow forward and this is coming alive and well in your 12th house so some of the things that I think are happening for you are a heck of a lot of wisdom and clarity about maybe a project you've been working on behind the scenes, something you've been keeping to yourself and now it's time to share and express. And also Sag, maybe for you, you're getting done with a phase of life and you know it is time to shed it. Saturn spent two years working on you, has only recently moved into Capricorn there in December. You may really be getting done now and the wisdom of how to let that go so you can take the next opportunity, which will be challenged by your limiting beliefs. And for you to jump forward is right here at your fingertips. Now, 
we've got the new moon solar eclipse and it's only a partial happening at 20 degrees of cancer here on the 12th now this lights up your eighth house so this in combination with the venus over here in your 10th house makes me think again you've got the eye or the attention of somebody who you can create a joint resource with so you know does this mean your partner's got extra money coming in or they get a bonus or something like that eighth house is a place where you didn't earn the money right or you didn't necessarily do anything it could be a bonus it could be an inheritance it could be you finally get that tax check you know you could you get that financial aid it could be any one of those things but it looks to me like you have benefits coming your way and since this is the new moon for the month remember at the new moon we plant these seeds of intention what's the newness that you want to start here and in order to have the newness you got to be willing to let go of something else and in order to have the newness you plant those seeds and you say universe this is what i'm aiming at and then you have to let go we plant our seeds in the dark we don't always know exactly what it's going to look like you know chances are if you plant green beans you're going to get green beans but how many who cares? You planted ass for green beans and you got some, which means you can do it again. So remember, you're planting in the dark here, but these new beginnings and these new things come over the next six months. That's how long it can take for solar eclipse stuff and how long it can play out in your life. So plant those seeds of intention. And I think you've just got a lot of attraction on you this month, especially in that career zone, which I personally think is beautiful for you. Now on the 22nd, the sun moves into Leo, lighting up and wherever the sun goes, it says, see me, I want to be seen, I need light, heat, and vitality, and attention, right? <laughs> so it's moving into Leo, into your ninth house. Now we're going to pump some brakes for a minute though, because Mercury on the 26th is going retrograde right here in Leo as well. So what this makes me think for you, Sag, is some of you could be rethinking because it's a retrograde and it's in Mercury, which is our communication, decision-making, thinking, um, detail planet, right? Of the mind, studying. You can wanna go back to school. You could say, hey, you know what? I wasn't prepared for this before, but Saturn worked on me for two years and I'm so spiritually mature now. <laughs> I can handle doing this college course, getting this certification, doing this licensing. Some of you, maybe this is very much so a thinking about traveling energy, or if you had traveled someplace else, or maybe you were studying a language before, something like that you could be going back to it this is the space of not only the higher mind but faith whatever is happening here there's a lot of faith that's playing out but it's about things from the past it could also be ushering you in because mercury is infamous for it um a teaching position from the past a class from the past an old lover from the past this could all be rolling on in here and it's all for your consideration look at re-edit revise reconsider how do these things fit now right you're trying to form this long-range goal so how does this fit now at the end of the month here on the 27th we've got the full moon total lunar eclipse happening at four degrees of aquarius which is lighting up your third house space we've also got mars retrograde here too so i will tell you this could be a very frustrating energy it's in your communication sector the communication planet is retrograde these energies are retrograde and the full moon says something has to be ended acknowledged or adjusted so you may be actually having a hard time fully expressing yourself fully making a decision so i caution you sag this is not the month to sign that contract it's just not mercury is retrograde mars is retrograde your mental space is trying to bring so you may not have all the facts and all of the details to make the best decision for yourself and the other thing i kind of caution you with as well is you may not be as assertive as you'd like to be you might not be speaking up for yourself in the way that you'd like to so what can you do about that is find other people to communicate with share your ideas instead of just saying it out loud maybe write it down if you've got a presentation to do definitely bring those note cards with you it's also a beautiful energy with jupiter direct in scorpio to listen to the subtle undertones of some things that are going on be a very good listener participate in a different way since you're not just running out there with full gab in your back pocket and allow that attraction energy to just come to you as well venus is doing some good work for you i promise 
All right, Sag, I look forward to seeing how you guys show up this month, what shows up for you. So please keep me posted in the comment section down below. I love seeing how the forecast plays out for you every month. So like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you throughout the month, okay?